What's going on YouTube? What's good with y'all boys and girls? It's Waffles here and today I wanted to talk about my Tekken 8 wish list. Now Tekken 8 recently dropped a new battle pass. We're going to talk about that in another video. And Eddie just dropped and we have some new items in the battle pass as well as a Tekken 8 shop. And it got me thinking, hmm, these items are good but we can do way better okay bandai we can do way better with the Tekken shop and so here i am once again sharing my opinion and my ideas on how to make the Tekken 8 shop better in my opinion of course and you know what i'm going to say let me know in the comment section below what your opinion is and things you would like to see in the Tekken 8 shop all right before we start the video first off i want to say sorry guys for not uploading very much recently this past month or two um, I have had what they call burnout and I actually do many things other than YouTube um, I'm working on my anime which is almost done I have a manga coming out called Anaki make sure you guys check it out once I drop it I will start you know releasing some stuff about it soon um, I'm working on I have my own clothing line as well called Anaki and I've been working on that and you know YouTube videos and you know working out or working full time so it kind of got me burnt out a little bit so i try to take a little break so expect some you know some little simple little gameplay videos to um cover you guys until i get the videos that i actually want to put out out but yeah let's start off with the video um and i just want to do another disclaimer saying that of course this is all my opinion and i am not pooping on bandai or harada i'm just saying that you know these guys can do better and i have my own imagination which i think is very vast and i'm just sharing it with you guys and i also hope that you know if harada or bandai sees this they take some tips from my book all right first up on the list is tekken 8 anime crossovers oh my gosh i keep talking about this i love anime and i think anime just fits so well with the fgc in my opinion and i believe that since bandai makes all of these anime games i don't know if it'll be i don't know about you know all the stuff that goes into it like business wise but i believe it makes sense you know from like the low level perspective that since they make the anime games it shouldn't be hard to actually make crossovers you know so if you don't think anime goes good with Tekken 8 just look at the Baki trailer okay the Tekken 8 Baki trailer everyone was so hyped I think that video has millions of views and millions like hundreds of thousands of likes on it so it just shows that people actually love anime and would love to see anime in Tekken 8 and I'm not asking for you know a whole DLC character or DLC character pack of anime characters no what I'm actually asking for is can we at least get some of the clothes from anime characters, maybe some stickers, maybe some anime characters that we can use in a Tekken lounge to walk around in, you know, stuff like that. Like just imagine having Jin and Goku's gi, Kazuya and Vegeta's gi, like stuff like that, Trunks, um, One Piece characters, you know, um, Victor as Zoro, stuff like that. Like I think that stuff would be freaking cool. Sanji, Sanji clothes on War Ring since they both kick. Like that would be freaking awesome, okay? Like just put it in the game, Bandai. Like we will pay. Like I will open I'm opening my wallet right now. I'm opening it right now. How much do you want for it? Let me know in the comment section below what anime you guys think will fit the best with Tekken 8 and what anime clothes or cosmetics do you think? Would be the best for Tekken 8. In my opinion, I think Dragon Ball Z and maybe One Piece or Naruto. I think those three are like the best and the easiest to do, in my opinion. But let me know in the comment section about what anime you would like to see and make sure it actually fits. Like, come on, be, be creative, be creative in the comment section. Now, since Harada did say there's a lot that goes into crossovers, and even though Bandai makes those games, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some type of like business limitations that won't make it that easy for them to make the crossover so what i believe you guys should do if you guys cannot get anime crossovers into taking a shop is do the next best thing is to get the cosmetics and clothing and stuff like that of non-playable taking characters in the series for example beck dusan which is horang's master since we can't have him in Tekken 8, can we at least get his clothes? Or like Armor King, if we're not gonna put Armor King in the game of Modic, can we at least get some of those clothes to be able to put on some of those characters? To kind of at least, you know, make them in the customization, you know, make them in the customization so we can kind of have them like, you know, in spirit in the game. I think that would be pretty cool. 
Now the Tekken 8, there's already a feature similar to this in the customization mode in which you can swap characters out, meaning they close. Like you can put Warring's clothes on Jin and Jin's clothes on Warring, for example. And I believe that instead of doing characters that are already in the game, why not do characters that are not in the game to kind of help those people who, didn't, who can't get the character that they want in the game? That's like the next best thing to at least have their clothes or their voice or something like that. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Alright, next thing on my list is something that I don't believe will be that hard. And that is bringing back old customization pieces from older Tekkens. Like Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2, we all know have the best customization options. So instead of just like, you know, having to come up with new stuff, why not just import some of the old customization options from Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2? Like the different styles of shirts, um, karate geese, accessories, guns, and stuff like that. I believe not only would this help the fans feel satisfied, it could also help Bandai and Harada get away from the mod situation that they seriously do not like. If they add more customization options and expand the customization in its base form, it would lead to less mods in my opinion. What you guys think? Now the next thing on my list is Tekken Tag 2's decal system. Now in Tekken Tag 2, you have the option to put decals in different little stickers or whatever you want to call them on your clothing. For example, in Tekken Tag 2, I used to love putting the karate gi on my laws, forest law and martial law. And I would love to put dragons on their legs and dragons on their backs. You know, for like the dragon warriors or Bruce Lee type of thing. And it was so cool. You can change the color of the decals. It was so much more customization. And I had like five different color schemes for this same outfit it was freaking awesome and i believe that this will help expand once again the customization bringing in less mods for example in my opinion let me know in the comment section below what you guys think i know i sound like a broken record but i love to make videos and i love to talk to you guys in the comment section about what you guys think as well because it's not always about my opinion because i'm here to bring forth ideas and hopefully bring in some new stuff into the game that will help all of us feel more comfortable playing it and have more fun playing it and last but not least um i don't know how you guys feel about this but i know i'm definitely paying for it I'm sorry guys i know i talk about you know i know we all talk about how we shouldn't like you know pay for things if the game isn't good but look i'm sorry i'm paying for this one all right did they drop this i'm paying for this okay i'm sorry and that is older skins impacts all right now think about it think about it. listen to me listen to me when do you want to pay for a full tekken 3 skin pack where they bring hayachi's clothes for reina they bring King's alternate skin from Tekken 3, the one where he has like the little Japanese shirt with the little track pants. I love that King skin. I love that King skin. You know, the old Eddie, you know, the old Warren, the old Jin, you know, the old Jin. I'm, oh my gosh, the old Jin costume is heat. I'm telling you, it's heat. The Tekken 4 costume, the Tekken 4 Paul, hey, Tekken 4 Paul, I believe in my opinion, is peak Paul costume. Peak Paul costume. I'm telling you that right now. Taking for Paul is peak Paul. All right. Now, if they release these in packs, and if they give us a decent price, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to fold. All right. I'm gonna have to fold. I'm sorry. Call me a hypocrite. I'm gonna have to fold for that. I ain't gonna lie. Cause Tekken is is my life. All right. My mom played Tekken. I watched her play Tekken as a baby. I played Tekken all my life. So they bring back that nostalgia. Like I said, listen, Bandai. All right. Now, if you guys want to hire me, hey, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I bring in some millions. But listen, nostalgia sells. The people who've been playing Tekken, I've been playing Tekken for years. Most of your people who have been playing your game or are playing your game right now are diehard OG fans. Nostalgia sells. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's waffles. And that's my Tekken 8 wish list. If there's anything that you would like in the Tekken 8 shop, go ahead and put it down there below. I'm going to read all the comments. I'm going to give you my opinion, and I want to hear your opinion. All right? Because it's not always about me. Without my fans and my subscribers, I would not be on this platform. Without further ado, it's Waffles. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.